Hello and welcome to part one of this two-part Fiery Friday series. I'm Rob Lienti, Senior Sales Development Manager for EFI's Fiery Business Unit. And today I'm going to show you how you can use Fiery Color Profiler Suite along with your Fiery Driven Print Engine to easily create a G7 calibration and profile and then verify those results in under 10 minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is with Color Profiler Suite open is click the printer button. From there, we're going to select the print patches option to print out our patch sets for our calibration and our output profile. So I select the Fiery that we're going to connect to, and then I'm going to name the profile. So in this example here, I'll name it Gloss Text G7. So after we've named the profile, I will come down and hit the next button. And the next thing we want to do is we want to create a new calibration setting but we want to add the G7 gray balance calibration target to this. So we do that and hit next. From the patch layout screen, we have the option to select the measuring instrument, the number of patches we want to read, as well as the chart size. We'll leave these alone and hit the print button. So once we hit print, we're into the job properties and this is going to allow us to select the media that we want to print on. So I'll use the paper catalog and select my 1218 gloss text and then hit OK. So this is going to send those patch sets over to the uh, engine to print. And then in the meantime, I'm going to calibrate my ES2000 to read those patches. So now we'll hit the next button and we'll start reading the patches. And then when we're completed reading the patches, you will see the next option is to review our D max values from the engine. If they look good, we can then hit the next button. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to read our patch sets for our G7 gray balance. So we're going to select the P2P51. It's going to leave the chart size the same and the measuring instrument the same. And then hit print. So again, this will send that set of patches over to the printer to print out on the media that we're using, the gloss text. Then we will recalibrate the ES2000 and start reading those patches and look at our results to see whether or not that our measurements have passed the G7 calibration specifications. So once we're done measuring the last patch, we'll hit next, and you're going to see the areas in red have failed, the areas in green have passed. So what we can do in this situation, if we have this failure, we'll hit the next button, and this will allow us to print out again those same set of patches that we just read. So we'll calibrate the ES2000 and go through exactly the same process. And what Color Profiler Suite will do, will make adjustments to those two types of readings to pull it into a passing state. So here's our second uh, run through. And you're going to see now that we are passing all of our uh, values that are required for this G7 calibration. Now we'll hit the accept button and we'll move on to printing out the patches required for our output profile. We'll do that in next week's edition of Fiery Friday along with verifying that our profile passes our G7 specification. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Fiery Friday. If you have any questions about the video you saw today, please feel free to reach out to me at rob.lienti at efi.com or message me on LinkedIn. Have a great weekend.